Good morning, children. I hope you all are fine. I just wanted to mention here one more time. Please like and subscribe my channel whenever you are going through my videos, so that you will get the notification for upcoming one. And please write down your query in comment box so that I can go through those queries and resolve your problems. Now, yesterday we have discussed about the effect of temperature on different states of matter. That how on increasing or decreasing the temperature. we can easily convert one form of or one state of matter into another one like in this topic we have discussed the very first process process of fusion or melting in which the solids converts into liquid and when we keep on increasing the temperature it converts into vapor state also but there are some few solids which directly convert into gaseous state without being converting into liquid and these kind of solids are known as sublimes and the process in which these sublimes or these few solids convert into gaseous state on heating directly without being converting into liquid is known as sublimation again i am repeating the process of conversion of few solids into gaseous state on heating without being converting into liquid state is known as sublimation and the solids which show this property of sublimation is known as sublimes for example iodine camphor which is commonly used as kapoor naphthalene balls which is used in silk or woolen clothes to protect these kind of clothes from moths or insects ammonium chloride a kind of salt dry ice it is also known as solid carbon dioxide that we will discuss in the next chapter in detail these are the example of sublimes which on heating directly converts into their vapors and they do not convert into liquid but instead of converting into liquid they directly goes into gaseous state these solids are having their molecules which are little bit more active and they quickly move far apart from each other on heating and directly converts into vapor state and on the other hand whenever these vapors they cool down on cooling down they fastly gets together and fixed at a particular point and move into solid state back this process again known as sublimation here i just wanted to explain this process of sublimation with the help of small activity in which we are taking the mixture of two salts one is ammonium chloride which is a kind of sublime and another is sodium chloride here we are having this activity separation of ammonium chloride and sodium chloride and the principle of this activity is sublimation we know very well that ammonium chloride is a solid which converts directly into vapor state but sodium chloride does not show the property of sublimation here in this activity we are using some materials just see the materials we are using in this activity that is tripod stand burner common salt which is also known as sodium chloride ammonium chloride filter paper funnel china dish cotton plug glass rod wire gauge here we are having the arrangement of these materials in the next video yes so you can see the arrangement of these materials here we are having tripod stand bunsen burner which is used to give heat energy wire gauge on which we have put the china dish in china dish we have taken the mixture of sand salt and ammonium chloride we have put the funnel in an inverted form or in opposite way on the mixture and you can easily see by using the cotton plug we have closed the mouth of this funnel so that whenever the vapors will form these vapors will not escape out from the arrangement now as soon as you start heating the mixture it will start converting ammonium chloride will start converting into vapor form and these vapor will start accumulating on the walls of inverted funnel 
Now you stop heating and please allow the funnel to cool down. You will get or you will notice the white powder solid form on the walls of the funnel. Now with the help of the spatula you can take this solid form which is a form of ammonium chloride and the mixture of sand and salt which is sodium chloride is left behind in the china dish. So by this process ammonium chloride can easily be separated by sodium chloride.